Hi, Mike Schinner here with Killark Electric, and today we're going to show you how to properly terminate our MCX cable gland. We're also going to show you how to terminate three of the more popular cables, Tech 90 MCHL, and TCERHL. Check it out. When prepping Tech 90 you will first need to properly measure the length you will need to wire for your device. You can do this by using any measuring device. After the correct length is determined, you will need to take a razor knife or your preferred cutting device and simply cut through the PVC coating around the armor, completing a 360 degree cut, then from there cutting straight down the cable to the end you recently measured from. Next, you can simply use your fingers or take pliers and remove the PVC jacket that you cut exposing the armor. Once the armor is exposed, refer to the IOM to determine how much armor to leave for grounding purposes. The amount of armor that is exposed is dependent on the size of what gland you are using. To cut the armor of Tech 90, a rotary armor cable cutter is recommended. Once the armor is cut, remove it like shown. Next, take a cable jacket cutter tool and cut the exposed jacket protecting the conductors. Once the jacket is cut around, bend the protective jacket and pull it out. Now separate the conductors like so and visually inspect to make sure no wires were cut during any of the processes conducted. Tech 90 is used primarily in Canada and is CSA certified for use in class 1, 2, and 3. Now to show you how to properly terminate a TCERHL cable. You'll need to measure out the length of wire you will need for installing your device. Be careful taking a razor knife. Begin to cut an incision to the protective jacket cutting around it. Be extremely careful not to cut the conductors. Gently bend the cable back and forth to make sure the jacket has been completely separated. Make a score down the jacket of the cable. Be sure not to cut any conductors during this process. Remove the jacket that has been separated from the cable, leaving the conductors, fillers, and plastic sheets. Taking wire cutters, you can remove any excess fillers. Visually inspect to make sure no wires have been cut. TCERHL stands for Tray Cable Extended Run Hazardous Location. It is suitable for hazardous locations, but the major difference between this cable and MC and Tech is it is not continuously corrugated or interlocked armor. To prep the MC is much similar to prepping tech. You will need to measure the length of wires you will need to reach your device for installation. You will then cut your PVC jacket and remove it from the continuous corrugated armor. You will need to refer to the IOM to determine the length of exposed armor for grounding with your gland. Since MCHL is continuously corrugated, you can either take pipe cutters or a hacksaw to remove the armor. If using a hacksaw, carefully cut a notch around the armor. After a few notches are cut, simply bend the armor and it should snap and separate itself. Now remove the armor. At this time, all the plastic sheets and fillers will need to be removed. Take wire cutters and remove them where the armor was just cut. Separate each conductor and be sure to check to make sure there are no nicks in the wires. If there are, then this cable will have to be done again. While separating the conductors, if there are any multi-grounds, they will need to be separated as well. One method that can be done 
is twisting the grounds near the base to make sure that they are separated enough to have compound around each core. Your MCHL cable is now prepped. MCHL stands for Metal Clad Hazardous Location. The major difference between this cable and Tech 90 is that it is continuously corrugated, meaning it is one long flexible tube. How to install the glands to the MCHL cable we prepped earlier. First, take the properly stripped MCHL cable and check to see if the armor stop is needed during the installation process. Please be sure to read the IOM to ensure correct installation. Slide the cable gland with the black nut in first through the terminated MCHL cable. If the gland slides past through exposing the armor, then the armor stop is needed. If the gland does not go all the way through, then the armor stop is not needed like shown here. Killark allows for a simple hand tighten of the back nut to grip the cable. No need for any tooling at this time. The Killark LT Comp will need to be mixed. Please be sure to read the instructions prior to this step. Begin mixing by placing the two compounds back to back and making folding motions. Continue mixing until the color of the compound is a consistent maroon or crimson color. Once the compound is mixed together properly, you will begin packing the conductors. Be sure and pack the compound between the cores and strands as shown here. With all the gaps and voids filled, Bring the conductors back together. Once you have completed this, tape the conductors together to prevent any disturbances in the packing you just completed. And add more compound around the outside of the wires. Now you will want to slide the potting chamber over the compound until it hits the armor stop or the end of the armor. Thread the entry component back on the middle nut. Be careful when doing this as you will not want to twist the conductors when threading this as it can create voids. This step allows the potting chamber to compress and straighten out so there are no issues when assembling the gland. Ensure the entire potting chamber is filled with compound. Remove excess compound from the potting chamber. Ensure any excess compound is removed from the tapered surface. Failure to remove compound from this surface will interfere with the compression of the spring and may impede the grounding path of the gland. Once you have checked to make sure there is no excess compound impeding the ground path, you can proceed with finishing this step.
continue to add compound to the potting chamber around the conductors as shown here. Visually inspect the potting chamber to make sure no compound is visible, as this is part of the grounding path. If all clear, place the entry component back on carefully. Try not to disturb the conductors. Allow the compound in the gland to cure. Please refer to the IOM for temperature and time of curing. Once the gland is properly cured, it is now ready to be installed. Remove the entry component from the MCHL cable. LUBG6 on the threads is recommended to prevent galling, but is not required. Thread the entry component into the enclosure. It should be hand tight to one full turn with a wrench. Slide the prepped gland into the entry component that was just assembled. Hand tighten the middle nut, then make sure to give it one full turn with a wrench like shown. Last, the red anodized back nut will need to be hand tightened, and then with a full turn with a wrench. Your gland is now assembled. Thanks for watching. For more information about this product or for ordering information, please contact your local distributor or sales representative and be sure to check out the website below. Thank you.